Virgos, hey lovies, welcome back to another video. Time for some hot tea, birds. Time for some hot tea. Okay, look at this. Look what's underneath the bottom of the deck. Outdated thinking, events playing over in your head. Let me tell you what I'm picking up on, Virgo. So, who are you ignoring? Hmm, yeah, tell me. Tell Empress Meek. Who are you ignoring? There is somebody in your energy that you are definitely ignoring. A lot of you shut the door in this person's face like, oh, I'm going to teach you not to play with me. It's like, play with me, but don't play with me. It's giving very much that energy. Okay, so you decided to just, like I said, something came into an abrupt halt. You felt like the best way to get to this person is ignore them. They're not used to anybody doing them like that. You definitely know your worth and you're not going to let him or her treat you any less than that. So you definitely got this person on ice. This person doesn't know what to do. I'm feeling a strong feeling of this person wanting to come towards you, but they're scared you're going to reject them. You, you were getting the energy that this might be leading you into some type of karmic relationship is what I just saw here. So... You decided to ignore this person. And you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So for some of you that really wanted to get rid of this person, it's about to backfire a little bit because this person is going to come back towards you. For some of you who wanted to teach this person a lesson, I feel like it's going to work. Why? Because this person feels passion for you. Let's get into it. Love these. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for bringing me here with my Virgos one more again. Thank you so much. For all you do in the divine realm and giving us a strong finish to this week. We thank you so, so much for all the abundance you bestow upon us and how you revamp our lives. Thank you for everything you're doing um, on our behalf. Thank you for each and every angel you send to protect and guide us in human form and spiritual form. We appreciate you showing somebody you, who doesn't know how amazing you are, that you are the great I am. And thank you for healing our bodies, hearts, minds, souls, and spirits. Amen. Amen. And thank you for blocking and bonding any negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness that may be coming up against this channel or our lives and keeping us under your divine hand of protection. Amen. Now, what it do, Virgos? Let's get it. I cannot wait to pull these cards. Let's see what's popping. Okay. These videos resonate with my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. And always drawn to my energy, my soothing voice, and my healing vibes. Let's get it. Okay. Spirit, what do you want to tell Virgo about this person? <laughs> okay. So, these cards flipped over, okay? And also ascending. Oh, Virgo. This person wants to, this person is preparing for union, okay? This person is about to come back towards you. Whatever happened between you guys, they feel like this isn't over. They miss you so much, okay? They have some, have grown some type of unconditional love for you. Whatever you did to this person, and I'm getting some of y'all didn't even give this person any. This person cares about you. You feel like as long as you stand your ground, you're going to teach this person how to respect your boundaries, how to respect you as the new person in their lives and let them know that they can't just come in and carry everything the same way they've been carrying it because they did. You're not the same person that they've been dealing with. You're not them. You're not those people. Okay. <laughs> they need to understand that. Okay. Yes. It might be some own voice, baby boy, baby girl. Come on. Right. Y'all, they need to understand. So anyway, y'all, we got paradise here. Happiness, expansion, okay, enjoying each other, oneness, this person, this is what this person wants. Look, the kisses are blown this way to ascending and a reconciliation. This person wants to come towards you because look, Virgo, this person cares about you. They feel like you are marriage material. They feel like you guys match. You go well together, okay? And they are, they're, they're in their feels about you ignoring them, okay? They, I feel like... <laughs> Uh, Virgo, they've been looking at your pictures, okay? They've been replaying your conversation in their head. They can't stop thinking about that. And I feel like this is definitely this new connection. This person feels bad for what they did because they were a little bit deceptive. Whatever they were trying to get away with or do, okay? Something about another woman, something that they were hiding. I feel like because they hid it, it was something that they weren't prepared to let go of. And you had a problem with that. You gave this person ample time to be honest and let you know where you stood and I feel like they were playing the 50 like they were trying to just go along with it go with the flow 
to see what happens because they want that, huh, baby, they want that prize, okay? They want that prize. And and not to say that they was going to leave when they get it. I'm just saying this is something that they weren't ready to let go of, but they didn't think that you was going to shut the door on them that fast. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, okay? <laughs> baby, I cannot lie to you. This person is missing you, okay? This person is watching, looking, stalking. They're waiting for you to say something, okay? They're not even paying attention to the other things that are going on around them. I'm feeling like they're not they're not with it right now because of what happened between you two. Mm. <laughs> it's giving, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper, Virgo. Yeah, you showing up there. You were like, up, oh, halt, <laughs> stop, mission abort pause backspace no okay you had to tell this person wait a minute because what you're not going to do is start off something new shady for some of y'all you could have gave your ex a chance which i told y'all not to do but anyway i mean it's all up to you you had to see you know we need to be sure so we can close certain pots of patterns completely okay so i mean it is what it is everybody's ex wasn't horrible so it doesn't hurt to see, but some of these people just did not change. Yeah, this this female could be, you know how they have, um, this is uh, something to do with another woman, okay? Um, and this could be anybody, but I feel like this is romantic, a romantic partner. I feel like for my Virgo males, this had to do with them just being sneaky, okay? Them still dealing with other people and not wanting to cut them off or them hiding things from you, not telling you the full truth. Something that they were clinging to, you know, something that was very familiar with them, something easy that they don't really have to work for, like they have to work in the relationship with you because they have to show you, you know? A transformation, an ending, to start a new beginning. This person is transforming things. This person is going through a lot. You activated this person to look at their lives and see how they're lacking, okay? They realize how much they're lacking, and they want you back, okay? They are longing for you. This separation is hurting them. They are sick and tired of being without you. They want you to come back, okay? They are trying to wait around to see if you're going to reach out to them, and it's a hard no okay virgo i feel like it's a hard no all right i don't even feel that in this energy i feel like if it is meant for me and they're gonna act right then they're gonna come to me it's no way my virgo's gonna be walking into the lions then like yeah go ahead bite my head off please i need that like no please you wait and see what they want to do you let them come to you and see what's happening spirit said trust in divine timing okay you're going to get a chance to hear from this person and they're going to be explaining themselves absolutely they see you as a big guarded. They see you as vulnerable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and this is at the bottom of the deck. So let's go ahead and shuffle and see what else comes out. Mm. And then we're going to get into the tarot, honey. Spirit, give me more messages for Virgo. <clears throat> Something having to do with family. <laughs> I feel like this person talks to their family. I feel very soothing, warm energy when it comes to this person's family. Could be their parents, their mother or something. Somebody is very nice. Very kind-hearted and um, um, very much trying to lead them in the right direction. Trying to help them see their purpose, you know. And this person confides in them. And they confide in their family to help them make decisions. And they're asking their family what they should do about this separation. I feel like the family knows who you are. They may have told them about you or introduced you to a few of their family members. And they liked you. They're asking this person, where that girl or guy go? Where's that nice person you met? You know, this person wants to know. Virgo, I feel like right now, if you're focused on your self-worth and you have expectations, this person realizes that about you. It's another thing that makes you stand out to them. They know you know your self-worth. They know that you value and love yourself. And you're not going to settle for less, okay? For some of you, they know that you've been waiting to meet the right person. Okay, and you take really good care of yourself with the self-care card. Tell us more about this person. How are they feeling toward my Virgo? This person feels like you're a divine feminine or divine masculine, and they definitely want to reunite. They feel like there are some soul ties here. They feel like it's a very strong connection between you and them. For my divine masculines, for my Virgo males, you feel like you met a divine feminine. And you want this person to be ready to let go of a lot. 
for my divine feminines, you feel like this person could have been your twin or a good partner for you. That you feel like this person has to be willing to make the sacrifice to gain something beautiful in their lives. You feel like if they need to get in touch with their higher self, you feel like until they do that, you guys don't match. Yeah, you feel like it's not going to be a match. You got this person looking in the mirror at themselves and not liking much of what they see. Right? Yeah. So, wow. Virgo, let's get into the tarot and see what the tarot says real quick about this situation. Oh, the kitty's like, around. What should they do, kitty? Should Virgo go to this person? Huh? Oh, they say, uh-uh. Nope, wait. <laughs> should they wait, kitties? Y'all should wait. Mm -hmm. Tell, help them out, kitties. Help them out. Help my Virgos out. Y'all intuitive. My kitten said, wait. Yes, don't go to, mm -mm. <laughs> wait till this person go be straight. All right, all right. Okay, that's enough, girl. That's enough. Still in the show. All right. Let's see what else is here, guys. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Y'all better not come for my kittens. They was just trying to help. Okay, they was trying to help. Okay, they was like, don't go into the light. Okay, let this person come to you. All right, Virgs, let's see what else is here. Spirit, show us a couple more messages for Virgo. Clarify these messages here for my Virgo so they can know what to do. What's your advice for them in this situation? What's your advice for my Virgo collective in this situation? Angels, your advice, ancestors. Let's see. What is going on? Oh, I feel like this is communication coming in. I feel like this is communication coming in from this person. This person feels like it's a missed opportunity, but they still want to find out. They want to know. This person is um, sad over the spilled cups you guys were building. They had feelings for you, and those feelings that they had for you is real. They were real, and they know it. They don't like what's happened. They feel like their burden and they want to put the burdens down and, and the toxicity in their lives. Virgo, I'm telling you, they feel this soulmate connection with you and they feel like you make them happy. You make them very happy. Yeah. They feel like you cut them off. They want to talk to you about that. Hold them back from them because they're burdened. But they want to put the burdens down. Show me this person's energy toward my Virgo. I feel like this person is trying to manifest you back. Yes, this person sees you as their happily ever after. This person is um, could be also an earth sign. Virgo, this person knows you're manifesting true love. And this person saw an opportunity to give you what you want. But they kind of was taking it for granted. They're so used to people putting up with their crap. I feel like this person is a little bit spoiled and entitled. This could be that earth sign. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This could also be a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Could also be an air sign, okay? So let's see. This person is in despair also while I'm shuffling the cards. <laughs> and they're going to be rushing in towards you. Look, for reconciliation, they miss you a lot, Virgo. Show me more, spirit. Yeah. They're manifesting. Look at this. They want to... They want to do this. They want to try this with you. They want to invest in a relationship with you. They miss you. They want to. They feel like they ruined everything. And they are about to apologize, honey. They're about to come in and come forward to you and let you know how much they care about you. They can't take it anymore. They are all in their head. All I see is this despair here. It did not go away yet. They feel like they need to balance karma. They need to. They want to work with you. They need to balance karma. And clear up the confusion. They want to sit down and talk about this. Look. <clears throat> they want to sit down and talk about this. I feel like they're willing to stand up to this. These options. This confusion. They're willing to get it out of the way. They're willing to stand their ground. And, and get these people back. Let these people go. We're willing to cut some people off for you. 
They want to work on this. They waiting for the perfect time. They had secret third parties and they know it. And they are ready to let this go for you. Look. <clears throat> this person feels very, very passionate towards you. They're sorry. You're their ten of cups. You made them so happy. Nobody has made them feel like this in years. Okay? And you made them very happy. They're very passionate towards you. They're a good father, a good person. They're loving. They can be very loyal. They're very good in bed. And they miss you. They want to give you this one too. Alright? And for my females or for my king of I mean for my king of coins, this is you. Fired up for this person. They make you so happy and you want to come toward them. You can't wait until they come toward you. You want to talk to this person. Wow, Virgo. So get prepared. There is incoming. It's still at the bottom of the deck. This person will be back with reconciliation. This person felt like their hands were tied. Um, but yeah, this person feels like they owe you an apology and they are going to be coming very soon to give it to you. Prepare for communication. They miss you and they cannot take it. This no contact is driving them crazy. Okay, let's see what your angel want to tell you about this situation. I'm just going to pick a random one. Let's see what comes out. Yes, okay. Angel of self-worth came out and it's actually two. Angel of self-worth, you are currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. Yeah, so, I mean, for a lot of you, you're, this person don't even deserve you. I feel like they don't have their life together. They don't have no car for some of them. And you're doing so much better than them. They're lucky that you're even entertaining them. Okay? Mm. Angel of space clearing. It is time to clear the old negative thoughts and feelings. Yes, because it's going to hold you back from manifesting this new love. Now, this person does have money. They're doing okay, but they still need to get their stuff together, okay? And it's good. It's a good thing that you, you know, you are the person you are. You wouldn't even give them a chance, okay? You have opportunities here. You got a lot going for yourself, Virgo. You got a lot of opportunities. You're free right now, and this person knows it. They don't want you out here like that. I'm telling you. So, Birds, this was the hot tea for this evening. This was very, very juicy, okay? Tell me who this person is and why you, you, you straight ignoring this person, Virgo. You really are. So, if y'all want to take a sneak peek and see what this person is about to do or if they let go of anybody or what they're doing, I can do your personal reading. Hit me up in the email closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. All right, and I'll be happy to book you. Thank you for all you do for our channel. Welcome to my new subscribers and family members. I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye, Virgos.